Hey, Jim from SoTech here, and I want to introduce you to our new Spring Nose Tazor 10 holster. This is our first foray after 25 years of doing cloth nylon holsters into a plastic full body holster. Now you'll notice uh, we're not doing a pistol holster, we're doing a Taser holster. So there's some key uh, design differences that actually really enhance this being a Taser holster. Um, one of the uh, key pieces to that is that it's a spring nose. So there's a uh, flat plate in the nose of the uh, holster with a spring underneath it. And there's a hook up here at the top that hooks in your weapon. Now I said this is a Taser 10 holster, but we, through hours and hours of experimenting with shapes, we got this also to fit the Taser 7. So it's a Taser 7 and Taser 10 holster. The way it works, is there's uh, double retention here. One is to uh, remove this uh, or to pop back the strap. And this was a requirement that we came up with uh, with LAPD. They decided they did not want to have a mechanical release because something could get jammed up in it. So they asked us to come up with this thumb brake release. Uh, and it is removable. Uh, this uh, can uh, uh, be unscrewed and removed. It can also be flipped over to uh, be ambidextrous. But the way this works is you push down against that spring and then rotate out and then up. You can see the hook right there. And we had to formulate it just, just right so that it would hook perfectly to both the Taser 7 and the Taser 10. And also so that it wouldn't uh, catch your, uh, the, the, the web of your hand as you're pushing down and grasping it. One of the things that's really neat about this <clears throat> is regular pistol holsters you're going to cross draw and you're going to use your thumb to activate the holster now in this situation you can go ambidextrous you can go right hand or left hand to activate this I can activate with my finger and then push down and back or if I still have my hand on my uh, lethal firearm I can come over here with my off hand unsnap, push down, rotate, pull out, and then transition. So I'll reholster it with my off hand, pushing it in, nose in, push down, and now I feel that spring push it back up and hook it underneath the hook. And that's a good solid hook. Uh, I also have this retention strap here that I'll easily uh, uh, attach. We ran extra ribbing in there so that this isn't flopping around. This isn't going to hang up into uh, the action or anything like that. It falls out of the way. Easy to find, easy to, to, to reholster, and has a metal snap in it. So, um, also, one of our, I believe, the key features to this is how thin and narrow this is. There's nothing on the front, and there's nothing on the back. When you have your pistol mags racked here, radio here, this is going to come straight out and right, right uh, unimpeded by uh, the pouches in front of it. And it's going to go right back in and take up minimal amount of space on your uh, police pistol belt. So we've talked about how narrow this is. We've talked about the uh, spring action and how it's ambidextrous. Uh, other features to it, it's got a decock so that if you're putting it in, in into the holster here, it will decock. The uh, belt attachment has two opposite facing buttons that you have to push. So if a bad guy is going to try and get this off of your belt, he's going to have to push down on one button and push up on the other button and he's going to have to know how to do that. So we find that to be a pretty unique way of attaching your belt. Also say that in this holster, there's three orientations to the, to the um, screws. So you can screw this so that the holster will sit um, at a rearward cant, straight up and down, or at a forward cant. So there's three different angles. As you can see, this is on a, a, a pants belt. So if I'm doing plain clothes work, I can use a small belt or this clips onto a full-size belt without having to change anything up. Uh, you've got um, uh, a right hand, left hand, this face plate pops off, pops onto that side, belt clip pops on the other side, and this uh, strap rotates all the way around. An additional feature to this holster 
is a backup way of drawing it. Now I already went through the spring nose where you push down and pull back, but let's say that one in a million, somehow that spring is broken, some of the brink, there's a rock that got in there, this is locked up. In that case, is your weapon locked? No, you have a backup way of getting this out. This is raised right here, the top of the holster, so you can lift and pull that up, and it just pops out on its own. So you've got the ability to draw from the spring nose, which is the best way to handle it, but you also have the capability of lifting up on that lever and drawing the weapon directly that way. Up and out and back in. There you have it. Um, you have our Sotex spring nose holster. Uh, we've been testing this, we've been designing it, working closely with LAPD's training division on this. Uh, we think we have a durable, simple, slimline, ambidextrous, um, easy to hand out, easy to issue, easy to deploy holster. That's going to work for just about any law enforcement situation. Um, we also have uh, a molly adapter and we have a drop-down thigh adapter. And that's our spring nose holster from Subtech.